Yeah, oh, Jay, really? Jay, yeah, what happened to freedom of speech, man? I thought I could say anything I wanted to. What's the deal? Are we on a thing here where I can't say the six nasty words like, like uh, Carlin? Huh? Actually, there's seven, and you can oh. let them rip. We don't care. Oh, good. Gosh darn it. <laughs> JD, I got rid of my G rating. I think no, the I, second I, week I, I was I, on there. There might be little kids on, so let's keep it clean. Oh, cheap uh, uh, shit. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, did we all want to know what I've been doing? Yes. yes. Get up here, I man. have been so busy. I was just wondering, should I start it out? Do you want to start it out, Jack? Are you going to laugh on that or what? Should we do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been hotter than hell here in Oklahoma. And I found a new home. It's called Charlie's Last Stand. They love me over there for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because I don't drink. <laughs> yeah, she goes, uh, we have a tab there every time we play, but there's always only like $10 on it. And God bless those girls over there. I played a wedding over there. It was really fun. And we're working on our album as we speak. And I've been working on Big Daddy McCann's album. He, he goes, I got two songs I want you to do. I ended up doing five so far <laughs> so I did every song on the album which is a pretty good pretty good feeling I'll, I was gonna see as soon as he got get it gets it done if he'll let me send it to you guys so we can uh, let let you guys share some of the stuff too it's some really awesome stuff and cool. I got some new tracks but I can't figure out how to get them when you know like to send it to you on my email I'm not sure how to how to send. I'm kind of a dummy on the computer, so I'll have to ask one of my partners over at the studio. But I want to know how I can send you some of these other songs that we have down that you don't have that I'd like for you guys to have. Oh, cool! But I can't seem to get them up when I send when I do it through the email, unless it was already on my computer on a regular file like one of my main albums but the new al the new stuff that's just CDs mm -hmm. it just won't let me do it for some reason because I go into into uh, unnamed files on uh, what I got them all under right and it won't let me get it won't let me get them so I got to figure out a way how to get that those numbers off of there and send them to you because there's some some killer song. We should have the album done. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping by cr Christmas. It's taken longer than I thought. It always does. I, yeah. Well, I I mean, I was here and I started in October. I got sick a little bit there for a couple months, and then I'm back on my feet again. And it took me a long time to find a bass player in town, and uh, brother Dave. And we finally started cooking. Man, we played some big places already. Wow. And Big Daddy's been help helping us around town, getting, get, you know, opening some doors that I, you know, when I lived here before, I was a top dog around town, and now people are knowing I'm back, and so, you know, well, you guys got a lot of pictures, didn't you? Yeah, I went to your, I, I hope you didn't mind, I went to your MySpace and pulled down some pictures just to No, kind of man, that's down. awesome. In fact, that's where we're playing on the 8th, of, right there at that picture right there. That's a bad picture of me, man. I look bad right there. It looks like I have a big butt. <laughs> Damn. My butt ain't that big. Well, don't they say the camera adds like 20 pounds? I know it does that to me every time I go on webcam over here. You know, I that go, guy, I, I really butt. wasn't happy. I spent 40 bucks getting some pictures taken by that guy, and I didn't like none of them. And we had some other pictures taken with just one of my friends took pictures of us at a gig. Mm -hmm. He took some better pictures than, that, than my buddy there, but and you live and learn. I won't. I won't pay him to take any more pictures. <laughs> you hear that, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> so, JD, who's there with you tonight? Oh, I was talking about the boys, my mob, my dogs. You know what I mean? Right. You already mm -hmm. showed them. <laughs> so that's the that's the that's the mob. <laughs> now there's there's that's my mob right there. <laughs> we got Steppenwolf with the dark glasses on there, John K. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, that was a good night, man. That night when we kicked off the show with JD's Blues, everybody there was every people were yakking. We started that song and all heads were on stage, man. It was awesome. Oh, you can't go wrong with that song, JD. No. God, everybody <laughs> loves it. That's too bad that Jack didn't get the last. I sent you guys the the uh, the the original version of that song. Mm-hmm. Which was done by uh, everybody except for Dave at uh, in Oklahoma. I did that before I got up to uh, New York. I did yeah. a, a, a demo here. And the cool thing, and there's some other stuff on that, that song, Liar, I sent you. Mm-hmm. It's got an upright bass on it. And the other version had no upright. It was electric bass. But right. this guy, man, his, uh, Craig Wetz was his name great upright bass player it just added a whole new dimension to the to the stuff you know also my good buddy robin carty songwriter extraordinaire is back in oklahoma city he's wanting to get some do some things with me in the studio and possibly put a side band together and we ruled this town back in 85 man when we were here we played everywhere people we had big crowds so we're cool. thinking about doing that. He goes, he said to me, I went and took him and his girlfriend out to eat yesterday. They didn't have any food because he just got up there. He just started a job. I took him out to the buffet. Oh, you can eat. They left. They couldn't hardly move. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I told you, don't eat all that meat. It's going to be stuffed. <laughs> I, had the, I had the blackened catfish. Oh, it was so good. So, yeah, I haven't, awesome. this is a good little thing here, man, you guys got. I like this better. Oh, oh we, we do, do too. too. <laughs> we do too. J.D., well, first of all, I'm sure you notice the sound quality is ten times better. Blog talk radio compared to this is like AM radio, and then this is like high-def FM. I mean, really, <laughs> the sound quality, the music so much better. Um, the only thing, and, and tonight we've, we've finally figured out how to do it. Is, is to have calls and, and to have guests call in on the show and now I figured out sure. how to do it is to have it through Skype that was the only thing we were missing so now we, we got back anything that we might have ever lost and we gained so much more and, and like the crowd over here is so awesome as well so uh, JD some of our listeners from the old blog talk radio show want to know do you still last time we talked to you is back in April you had a, a Viagra in your pocket <laughs> and you were ready yeah. to go do you still have that Viagra in your pocket? <laughs> I take a Viagra with me wherever I go if I'm playing. Because, <laughs> you know, I might not go home that night. No, I don't do Viagra, man. I don't drink or anything, so I don't have no problem. I do have diabetes, but uh, my diabetes is never high, so I really don't I don't worry about it anymore, Hardy. Wow. Yeah. And diabetes will give your libido a kind of a bummer sometimes, but I, don't, I ain't never had no complaints. <laughs> a bummer. I, I, would, I definitely am not supporting Viagra by no means, man. <laughs> I, I don't buy them. People give them to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't buy them. My roommate got gets them by the hundreds. He goes, hey, you want about five or six of these? He hands me ten. Oh They're God. still sitting up there on my dresser. You know what I mean? Mr. Ever Ready. <laughs> yeah, why that question, Jack? Why didn't you ask something about some music or something? What about the one of our guests wants to know about your Viagra taking? Yes, it's working wonderfully. Everything's big and beautiful. <laughs> In JD land. <laughs> well, I figured, hell, I figured I'd, Hey, I you guys, I'd get... I look so goofy with my haircut. I'm never getting another haircut. You they can kiss my ass. No one is cutting my hair again. Maybe to trim it. I hate the way I look with short hair. Ugh. Man, I, I mean, I'm a rock and roll blues man. I got to have my hair. I, it seemed like I lost something. I lost part of my uh, machismo, ladies, if you're out there. That's what it is. I lost my machismo. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. So, anyway, so, well, so, all right, well, let's... <laughs> this guy reminds me of the good old days, man. Hey, this is still the good old days. <laughs> Answer me this, Dasperminator. <laughs> Would you rather have a big old good one or a good old big one? 
Yeah, how you like me now? Jeff's being her 